previously on Hell's Kitchen. The chefs had to dig for potatoes. And then they were challenged to be creative with them. We got it, we got it, we got it. While Mike's dish left a bad taste in Chef Ramsay's mouth. Horrible. Joey's dish blew Chef Ramsay away. Absolutely brilliant. The victorious women had an amazing day on the ocean. While the men were on cleanup duty. Oh, I drank my mouth. Then, at dinner service. It's not ready. Don't f open the oven. Chris and Mike butted heads on the fish station. Hey, 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 hey. I can't fix stupid. And found themselves in Chef Ramsay's crosshairs. Where's the crust? I, I didn't get, get it on there. Yeah, chef. While in the red kitchen. I've got one lobster tail raw still. Simone, listen to Chef. Simone's lack of effort. <laughs> Funny now, right? There's just something, eh, bad stuff. Something's not right up here. Got under station partner Jessica's skin. Who's the damn oven? The duo had an early exit from dinner service. Congratulations for being the worst two cooks. And with more food being rejected as a pass than going out to customers. Get out! Both teams were thrown out of the kitchen. Guys, get down to I want three nominees from each team. Mike was an easy choice for the blue team. Go back to the grocery store, But he wasn't going quietly. Oh, do not! Right here. You guys, if you hit him, you're good. Guys, you guys, you're Elimination. The blue team nominated Mike, DeMarco, and Chris, while the red team nominated Simone, Rochelle, and Sandra. But before Chef Ramsay had a chance to announce his selection. Okay, Chef, I can go. Simone, good night. Simone took herself out of the competition, ending her chance of becoming a head chef and winning Hell's Kitchen. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out, guys. Those hating bitches. The guys, I let them talk, point the finger at me, that's okay. I'm not gonna be all like, <laughs> like crying. I'm not gonna cry about it. Really? We're gonna keep Mike? Gotta I was pissed when he sent Simone home. No one wants. Mike here. He's poison. F a ball. F a ball. I'm better than that guy. I can guarantee that. <laughs> yeah, you are. And if I had to go home and he did it, I'd <laughs> hang myself. Mike has to go. You know, with the jersey hair and his earrings and his attitude and his stupid dumbass uh, tattoo. He sucks. When you're on elimination twice, your confidence goes. I, I have to admit, I'm not 100% confident. My confidence isn't there, but it is now. It wasn't there. Don't ever say you're not 100% confident. You are confident. Scream at us Yo. right now. Ah! Show him, dude. White ah! socks! Yes! <laughs> All right, what happened happened, but this has got to go because if we're going to have animosity with Mike, we're just going to up again. This is a team. Tomorrow's another day in the kitchen. None of this happened. Water under a bridge. After three dinner services and three challenges, the chefs are all feeling a little more comfortable in Chef Ramsay's kitchen. Put a little more pep in your step. This morning, they are all eager to show him that they are worthy of staying in Hell's Kitchen. Let's go, Bev. Sorry, Chef. Good morning. Good morning, Hi. Chef. How are you feeling? Great. Good, Chef. Right. The thing that's really bothering me after the first three services 
is the amount of waste you're creating in Hell's Kitchen. The real reason why we've got so much waste is because of the lack of consistency. Last dinner service, we wasted 16 Wellingtons. Let me show you what it looks like to me when you screw up one Wellington. Oh. I just see money cascading out of the restaurants. Now, let me show you how much money you wasted from last night's service. Oh my gosh, look at all that money, just wasted. And I'm broke as hell, so you know, I'm counting every penny. One cent, two cent, three cent. There's one more piece of scallop. Wow. There's a direct correlation between your lack of consistency and how much money you waste. Come with me. I want to show you something. Boy, Jeff Brand seems dramatic about making a point. If that's not a wake-up call that you're wasting the man's money, nothing is. OK. Now it's time for your next challenge. All of you, you're going to be cooking a brand new dish, a stunning ravioli of lobster. OK? Watch carefully. Every single time I'm standing next to Chef Ramsay, it's an honor. Roll it nice and smooth. I used to watch videos on the internet of him cooking and just sitting there like, oh my God, it's so cool. Mushrooms sauteed. Well, everybody has their own way of doing things, but when you watch Chef Ramsay do it, it seems so much easier and simpler. Simple, elegant, but each ravioli consistent. Yeah, yeah. The first team that gives me 10 perfect lobster ravioli dishes wins the challenge. Yes, Chef! You'll all be working in pairs. Blue team, since you have one extra person, the last team will consist of three of you. Gabriel, DeMarco, and Mike. This is not good. Those three as a group are clearly our weakest links. On your marks, get set, go. Let's go. After being disappointed by the chef's lack of consistency, Apron. Chef Ramsay hopes this challenge will instill in the chefs the importance of attention to detail. This one's better than that one. The first team to complete 10 perfect lobster ravioli dishes wins. Is there a sheet pan under there? Yep, you got it. I'm paired up with Jessica. Jessica and I are two of the strongest people on the red team, so I just hope that we can rock it out. I got four bulls, guys, behind. I want nothing more than just beat the crap out of them girls. <laughs> In the kitchen, though, of course. Of course. I'm going to take this up front and start working pasta? Yes. We don't all three need to work right. on pasta, right? I'll make the mix. While the men get organized quickly. You got the mix? Yes. The women. Take our time. Take a slightly different approach. Roll. See what happens. Oh, put it back. Right here, right here. Easy, easy, easy. Slower. Go ahead, go ahead. The hardest part for Sandra and I was definitely rolling out the pasta. He's trying to go his own way. Come on, ladies, you should start by now. Don't waste all your time rolling the pasta. Come on. Yes, yes, chef. While the red team is hung up rolling out their pasta. Good, right? Yeah, let's go. The blue team's organization has paid off. All right, Jay, we can drop three raviolis. And Scott and Jason are ready to present their first dish to Chef Ramsay. Lobster cooked season. That's good. One. Well done. Well done. Yes! Is anybody else starting their sauce right now? I'm about to start mine right now. All right. Truffle butter. Lobster. Delicious. Come well on. done. Come on. Start another sauce. Start another sauce. Ladies, come on. We've got two portions up. Come on, girls. Come on. Out. We're starting off really slow, and I'm concerned a slow start is not a good thing. Delicious. Good job. Thank you, Chef. Whatever system the men put in place seems to be working. Come on, boys. Keep going. Keep going. While the women... Beth, make sure that pan isn't too, too hot. We don't want to burn that onion. ...are still struggling to get their first dish to the pass. No, Beth, you, you got to do it the way he teaches us. Oil yeah. down first. Yes, uh, God, my God. Didn't you watch the same damn demo I did? Joy and Beth, yes, the sauce is just taking way too long. You only knew. While Joy tutors Beth on the pasta, Petals dry. most of the blue team has successfully moved on to their second round of dishes. Stay focused. No, just very little. The other pairs are um, putting raviolis up at a fast pace. Delicious. Pretty really good. Thank you, chef. Chef. Right, don't put too much because we need it for it to saute. But Mike just seems to hold us up. He doesn't do anything. He stands there. He's useless. Come on, guys. Delicious. Thank really you, good. Chef. Behind you. Walking with the first one. Where's your partner? Jessica, come. 
Wrong size plate. Come on, look. Come on, hurry up. Let's go. Hello. I feel like an idiot. Look at your plate. No, I'm sorry. It was a stupid mistake. Go grab a bunch for your side. Grab your own, chef. It's delicious. Thank you, chef. Come on, girls. Come on. Go. Girls, six to the blue team. This is a blowout. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. Well done. Good, good job. Finally. We got a point. We got a point. Bev and Rochelle have finally put the women on the board. And Melanie and Jessica are hoping to score with the replay of their first dash. Delicious. Good job. Thank you, Chef. They are quickly followed by Joy and Beth. Who made that? Me, Chef. Who rolled the pasta? Me, Chef. What did Beth do then? Support it, Chef. Joy. Come on, really? I wasn't just standing there with my thumb up my Delicious. Good job. Thank you, Chef. I'm pissed. It's not the Joy show. I'm just praying in my head. Please let him like. Please let him like. Delicious. Well done. Yes, Good job. Yes, another one. Let's do another one. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, guys. Nothing's coming out. We gotta hurry up. All I can hear is bells ringing coming from the red side. Come on, ladies. These guys over here struggling. Who made the raviolis? We both did. We both did, chef. Bing, another bell. Bing, another bell. Like, we gotta get more dishes of Delicious. Well Thank done. You, with the red team having an amazing rally. Come on, let's keep pushing. The blue team's big lead has shrunk to just one point. Guys, nothing's come out for the last five minutes. Another batch is coming out. I'm going to drop the pasta. Hey, look at me. 90 seconds, 90 I'm timing. Seconds, chef. I'm watching you. If Chef Ramsey told me that, I'm standing there for 90 seconds waiting for them to be done. He came back over and started re-rolling raviolis that I already had done. More mushroom, more mushroom, more mushroom. We, you don't need to recheck them, they're done, bro. <laughs> Wow, delicious. Thank Great you, job. Chef. We are just on a roll. Delicious. Good job. Hey, Good job. Chef. DeMarco. Yes, sir. They've been in there now. Hey, yes, for sir. two and a half minutes. Yes, Chef. Hey, how long are we cooking them for? Uh, cooking 90 them for seconds. 90 minutes. 90 seconds. So they're overcooked. Yes, Chef. DeMarco, Mike, and Gabriel. I have no idea what the f is going through their simple little minds. Push it. Push Let's it. Let's go. In spite of getting nothing out of the trio of DeMarco, Gabriel, and Mike, who made this one? We did help this. The men continue to be in a neck and neck battle with the women. Delicious. Great yeah, job. Chef. Delicious. Good Thank job. Chef. Taste delicious. Good job. Well Thank done. You, delicious. Good Ready, job. Chef. All right, guys, we need well one, more, one, more, one more. Ready? Go. Ravioli's coming. Let's go, guys. Come on. Come on. Someone else will be playing wow. right now. Good job. Good job. Delicious. Uh, red team, blue team, we're all tied up. Come on, one more, guys. Come on, let's go. We got this. We got him. Let's go. 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 let us go let us go In Chef Ramsay's Consistency Challenge, Let's go. the first team to produce 10 perfect lobster ravioli dishes wins. We got this, we got it. The score is tied. We're almost there, guys. Up as a team, up as a team. And now, the much maligned trio of DeMarco, Mike, and Gabriel have a chance to win it for the blue team. That's still way too thick, and it's not cooked properly. Oh, wait, we're starting again. Damn it. You guys again? Yeah, yeah. You guys. Come on, keep going! Delicious. Yeah. Well done! Yeah. Oh my god, we won this challenge. This is unbelievable. Yeah. Gabriel, Mike, and DeMarco. Only one of their damn plates went up there. Right now. If they were in my kitchen, I would have fired them. Nine of the past, please. Let's go. Ladies, congratulations. Well Thank done! You for your very special reward. You are taking over a stunning Beverly Hills mansion <laughs> with breathtaking views overlooking the city, poolside, and your very own butler. Oh. I'm getting real pissed. You know, it's just getting on my nerves because we keep losing because the weak links aren't stepping up. Uh, get cleaned up because your limos are waiting. Congratulations. Well done. Blue team, let me tell you, I honestly thought you'd nailed that. And then the stupidity crept in. You had it in your hands. And Gabriel, DeMarco, and Mike, it was like 
dumber and dumber and dumber. While the ladies are lapping it up, living like the super rich, all of you are in for a miserable, miserable day. All of you are going to be stuck here, crawling around on all fours, cleaning all those pennies up. 200,000. Roll after roll after roll after roll. And by the way, first of all, we're going to clean and prep both kitchens because I'm opening Hell's Kitchen tonight. Got it? Yes, yes. Now piss off, all of you. 200,000 pennies. That is really frustrating. While the men begin their punishment by cleaning the women's kitchen. We won, we won, we won. Hey, yeah. The women are getting all cleaned up for their luxurious reward. You guys, we're going to be in a mansion poolside. Hell yeah. <laughs> what I own, but I'm as... I've never been in a mansion before. I've only been in a regular five thousand. Party time! <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, and clean all those pennies while you're at it. Woo! Woo, 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 woo! You all know how much they really hate each other. Yeah, we have a, a little more love. <laughs> a home and today I'm chilling in Beverly Hills at a mansion. Ladies, welcome in. Oh, wow. I feel like Fresh Prince right now. <laughs> what took you so long? Where have you been? I would like to welcome you to your private estate for the day. If you don't mind, follow me. Hi, tea is ready. Oh, yes. thank God. Hi, tea. Oh, yes. It's just amazing at the mansion. And I've like never had the privilege of high tea, as you call it. Hey, don't forget to put your pinky out when you drink your tea, okay? While the women are living the life of high society. Dude. Damn it, man. Come on. Ugh. The men are thoroughly frustrated by their predicament. Pennies. I gotta roll pennies on that. 200,000. I'll be honest, dude. Mike and DeMarco, you guys are not helping your cause today. Sometimes you gotta trim the fat. You guys didn't do for us. What? Why? Were you at our station watching us? I should have been. One ravioli got overcooked, so it's, it's not my fault. Nothing's your fault, right? It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You don't yeah, it's my do fault because I cook. You don't do anything. I didn't make any ravioli. All you do is you I didn't make any I didn't roll any pasta. Stop. All right, guys. Come on, guys. As temperatures rise between Mike and DeMarco, the women are ready to cool off. I know. We laid out pool five years. I don't see how rich people always get up and, like, go do stuff because I would never leave. This feels so good, lady. Right now. Perfect. There's a camaraderie in the red team right now. We're strong. We just need to keep that momentum and help one another get through dinner service. Look at Sandra out there. Sandra just laid she out. She's in her boobies. element. Those boobies are keeping her afloat. <laughs> As Sandra and the red team continue to float on cloud nine, Mike and the blue team are drowning in pennies. So let me ask you guys, I had to mark up Mike. What do you guys think you guys are missing there? We need to communicate more. He doesn't want to work with anybody. Dude, you could suck my Come on, dude. We got to fix this, man. Uh, listen to DeMarco. He knows everything. I don't care what they think. The final word comes from Chef Ramsay, so they could kiss my ass. Them. I'm asking everybody's opinion on what you thought it was. I'm not talking about the past. Dude, he's asking a question. Just answer the question. All this BS, it's got to stop right now. Otherwise, tonight's service is doomed. Seriously? Everybody could go themselves. After a rewarding day in Beverly Hills, the women are back, rested and ready. We got to prove to the guys today that even though we had a nice relaxing day, we could still kick your ass. And considering how disappointing the dinner services have been, both teams have something to prove. We got to rock it out tonight, man. Yeah. Golly. Come on, ladies. You 90210 girls. Let's go. Gents, line up. Let's go. So far, we've had three dinner services here in Hell's Kitchen. And let's be honest, they've been disasters. Yes? Yes, yes. That cannot continue tonight. So, I am going back to basics and turning it tonight into steak night in Hell's Kitchen. I am the master of the grill. No errors whatsoever. Mark my words. Excited? Yes, yes. Good. Tonight, we have to have success. 
Got it? Yes, sir. Let's go, guys. This is an easy night. We can totally rock this out. And DeMarco, you're going to step it up tonight. I'm going to, bro. I promise you. This is probably my last chance. If we don't win and I don't perform, I'm going home. I, I have to prove to these guys that I can cook, and I don't know what it's going to take to show them that. You just nailed those salmon. You nailed them out of the park. I'm going to kill them, dude. Everybody say a little prayer if you need to. Stay focused. We're finishing service. All right? Go for it. Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen. Let's go. Push in. It's steak night in Hell's Kitchen, and although the chefs only found out a short while ago, the customers are excited about the change to tonight's menu. Uh, I'll have sparkling. They are eager to try tonight's special menu items, which include a chopped salad appetizer and a prime rib entree, to be served tableside by Beth and Rochelle for the red team and Scott and Gabriel for the blue team. Uh, my name is Gabriel. How are we today? Chef, first table. Excellent. Blue, you're out the gate first. Let's go. Four covers, table 12. Two salad, two ravioli. Away. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Ralph, nail that section. VIP table, let's go. Yes, Chef. I feel very confident. You know, I want to be focused. I want to not miss anything. I want to show Ramsey what I got. Two ravioli, two salad. How long? I'm waiting on um, crab cakes. I need those crab cakes. There's not even a crab cake on there. <laughs> Me. Really? Good job, Ralph. Can't remember? Blue team! He's asking for crab cakes. I don't know why, Chef. I don't know why, Chef. The first table. Come on, Ralph, please. I'll just be honest with you. I f***ed up. What else you want me to say? You still waiting on that crab cake? No, there's no crab cakes on order. There never was. Oh, I thought I heard crab cake. My bad. Oh, my gosh. While the blue team deals with its first order, both real and imagined, over in the red kitchen... Ladies, watch this table, VIP. Vanessa Marcel, yes? Chef Ramsay is making sure the women are focused on the next order. Four covers, table 31, one salad, one ravioli, two sliders. Yes, yes. Let's go, ladies, please. Come on, then, Beth. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. Ravioli, go. No, this is for the sliders. Too much oil, way too much oil. Pour some of that out. Beth, she needs you to teach her at all the wrong time. Ready? No, are they done? They're hard. Look at them. Two salads, two ravioli. Come on, Beth. Well, here we go. Drop them, Beth. Walk them with ravioli. Your herbs. There's no salt in that. You're cooking raviolis with no salt. Beth, this is basic stuff. Yes, chef. My 10-year-old daughter knows his salt gonna go in when she's cooking pasta. I made a mistake, I understand. But he kept yelling at me like I'm a kid. I'm the oldest on this team. Let's start again. While Bev tries to prove to her team that she's more confident than she's looking. Bounce back, Bev, don't worry, bounce back. Over in the blue kitchen. How long for the ravioli? One minute and a half, chef. Okay, let's go. Raviolis are in. Mike is trying to get involved in the service. Hey, you're, you're, flat, you're putting them down too quick, man. I didn't tell you. I said a minute and a half. It doesn't matter. I'll tell you to drop them. Ralph was trying to do everything, get the f*** out of the way, and let me do it. I can help it. I don't need help. Why is Mike not doing anything? Because nobody wants help, chef. What? I can't force somebody to help, chef. Get in there! Ralph, you got the big bear standing behind you. He's got to do something. Get your head out of the f stand. Yes, chef. Mike has had terrible service since day one. I wasn't going to let him lead tonight. Oh, my God. Raviolis right now. Ravioli, chef. There's no lobster. Hey, Blue Team, all of you, come here. All of you! Yes, yes chef. chef. What's missing in there, visually? Crab meat. Crab lobster. You said crab. I meant to say lobster, chef. We practice these all morning, and now it comes up. Minus the lobster. Get a grip. Yes, chef. Right now. Come on, man. Just keep that off to the side. While Mike and Ralph try to work together on their first appetizer order over in the red kitchen. Two salad, two risotto. Two salad, two ravioli. Three minutes out on risotto, two minutes out on ravioli. Joy is doing everything she can to make a good impression on Chef Ramsay. Joy's got it. Get this on here. Yes, chef. Okay, drive them. Yes, let's go. Let that get hot. Let that come up. I need to prove to him that I can be a good leader and get us out the gate. Welcome to Risotto. Joy. Yes, chef. Delicious. Thank you. Okay, okay. yes, chef. Delicious. Well done. Thank good you. Girl. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. It was just a feeling of relief. Red team. Yes, yes chef. You're off to a good start. Yes, yes chef. chef. Don't start celebrating. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. With Joy proving herself as a leader. You're looking good, ladies. Appetizers are making their way out to the dining room. I'm the leader. 
so good. Much to the delight of the red diners. Meanwhile, at the blue tables, well, sooner or later we'll be, we'll be getting our appetizers while everybody else is eating desserts, possibly. One chef is doing his best to distract the hungry guests. I'm going to clean this up, make sure that I have clean plates. Everything must go out clean. There we go. The rest of the food's not coming. I look like a dumbass, so I have to wait, I have to stall, and put their minds mainly on the conversation that was at hand. I've done a lot of banana fosters oh, in my day. I, I burned off all my hair once. <laughs> <laughs> Please get the food over here. Please get the food over here. It's horrible. You gotta love table side. I mean, I love you it. gotta love it. You can't rush perfection. I know the four covers table 23 in a way. Two salad, one crab cake, one ravioli. Now your crab cake's on order. I need four minutes on a crab cake. These young guys can't get food out of the kitchen. I know I can do it. I mean, I've been cooking for 30 years. Crab cake walking. You guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Coming up hot. One rad walking. Hey, crab cake stone cold in the middle. The crab cakes are very simple. You just drop it in the fire. Any monkey can do that. It's not hard. Freaks cold. How do they know how the he does that? They have to check the food before it goes up. God help the next person that gives me a stone cold dish. God help anyone. How much longer, crab cake? Checking it right now. Make sure you pierce it with your knife, man. It's ready. I'm walking, guys. You guys walking? Crab cake walking. Are they still the same ravioli from before? No, no wait, chef. Uh, fresh. Two rabs. Oh my god. Me. What? Stop! It's more than an hour into steak night. Crab cake walking. Are they still the same ravioli from before? No, no chef. chef. Fresh. And Ralph and Richard continue to struggle as they have yet to produce a single acceptable appetizer. No! Stop! No. Stone cold again! You. Ravioli, watery, bland, no seasoning, no fin herbs. Come on! Come on, guys. <laughs> off. Hey, John. John, come in. Hey, you. Come here, you. Both you. 7-Eleven, they've both got a little appetizer. And maybe a little Chardonnay. Yes, yeah? Chardonnay. Pinot Grigio. I want to know what it's like for you to eat stone cold crab cakes. No, off. Sit down. <laughs> I don't like it be little or be rated. I'm too old for that. Sit down, Richard. I know you both want to go back there. As, as long as this is not finished, you won't go back in the kitchen. Yes, JP. Sure. Anton, can you get those appetizers fired up? Because I'm going to flip my lid in a minute. Two minutes, chef. All of a sudden, I had to go over and make an order of risotto because Mike didn't step up. I think Mike just had enough. Risotto's going. Sorry, chef. Finally, service. With Anton answering Chef Ramsay's call for help on appetizers. Just keep talking, guys. Food is finally trickling out to the hungry diners. That was nice. Thank you so much for making me. Meanwhile, back in the red kitchen. Incredible. Table 50, let's go. Appetizers continue to fly out to the dining room. Keep rocking, ladies. We're doing good. We're doing good. And now the women are about to tackle the steak night entrees. On order, two covers table 33, two covers table 40. Let's do them together. Entree, two prime ribs, two fillets. Yes, 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 yes. Melanie, first table, don't sit back. I need five minutes, five minutes. Now that I'm on beat, we are definitely going to make it through tonight's dinner service, without a doubt. Mel, how long on that first entree? You can go now. I'm walking with two fillets. Okay. Behind you? Yep. Melanie! Yes, Chef! Great sear and great temperature on the fillet. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Finally, I get a little bit of recognition for my strong points. Her temperature is extraordinary. With Melanie excelling on the meat station. Service, please. Entrees are hitting the tables in record time. Wow. Incredible. Tell Tell the ball. Well. Well. Meanwhile, on the blue side. Let's go back. Well, let's down this first. Ralph and Richard are now returning to the kitchen to help the blue team begin firing entrees. On order, four covers, table 23 and away. Entree, one prime rib, two fillet. Yes, chef. If we could just get these first fillets out, we'll be good. We'll be fine. How's that fillet? That's looking pretty good. Not confident? Don't put it up. Yeah, I know. It's good. We're good? Yeah. Two fillets walking. Right behind you. Right behind you. I know how to cook a fillet. These are perfect. These are ready to go. Chris, come here, you. Rare. Wrong. Come oh, on. Can I have the one that is rare back in the oven? Yes, chef. Her word is going down like the 
Titanic. It's sinking and it's sinking fast. We're backed up on the appetizers. We're now backed up on the entrees. I know. Where's chef. the redemption? Where's the pullback? Where's the comeback? Oh my god. While the blue team tries to avoid going down in flames. Listen, you hear them guys over there that's struggling. Keep flowing, ladies. The women charge full steam ahead. Keep it going. Yes, chef. Come on, one minute. Let's kick this chicken, baby. We're getting a kind of rhythm. Gorgeous. Everything will as it should be. All right, almost ready to garnish. Tell me when you're ready to walk. Walk in with a fillet. Right, you got sliders and head with an entree. You can get them all together now. They can be at the pass. The girls are over there. They're like a machine. They're like the Russian military. They're just all one motion. Your fillet, walk it right now, chef. Nice. You guys ready with that chicken? Give me third of my six. You need sizzle pans. Yes, please. I'll get you some. I'm getting this. I'm getting that. You know, it's just like insane. Two chicken, chef. Put them over there, man. Here's my the medium refire. Checking the chicken. Sandra and Keisha. Chicken cooked perfectly. Yes. You couldn't hear anything sweeter than that. <laughs> we got this. You guys need anything? We're OK right now. We're going to finish. While the Red Brigade appears ready for their victory march. Ready? Hold on. Let me get the got sauce. It. I got the sauce. Come on, guys. Anton tries to rally his troops by delivering on the meat station. Let's move. Yes, Come Coming through. Please, ready, chef. Anton, I'll have to acknowledge you, dude. I thought you heard me. I'm sorry. You can't just, like, run up like that like a jackass. Ooh, most of us don't. I'm just going up there. I don't give a about anyone else. The guy's just a stupid beast. Hey, meet you rare. Our house comes out rare, and it's still cold in the middle. Easiest thing to cook the fillet, and we're dragging the whole kitchen down. Sorry, chef. All of you, come here. They've got every appetizer out, and they've got, barely got three tables left. Look at you, come here, you Other way. One, two, three tables of appetizers still. Still. Clearly, we're in the We're not getting out. It's that bad. Why are they fast? As the men continue to search for answers. Garnish right behind, garnish. Last table, ladies, keep it going. We're finna walk now, chef. The women are on the verge of completing an excellent dinner service. Beautiful, let's go. Yes, yes. Ladies, come here. Come, come. Look at me. Well done. Melanie and Joy, phenomenal. Thank yeah, you, chef. Well done. I want all of you now to go into the blue team and get on every section and help them get out nine tables. Let's go. Yes, yes chef. Yes. That was a gangster service. I mean, we even had to go over and help the guys because they didn't even know what the they were doing. Ah, uh, here we go. We're good over here. Go over there. Hey, blue team, the ladies are finished. They're in here now to wake you up. I don't I'm finished. Anything. I'm good. Hey, shut up. You do need help. Anyone that gives me a stone cold crab cake twice, trust me, you need help. Take the help. Run with it. The more help you take, the faster you can get out the kitchen. Is that the salt and pepper in there already? Salt and pepper's in. All right. Jason, this one's gonna need like three minutes, all right? They're really raw. Look, we know what we're doing here. I'm don't, not saying you don't. Well, don't He's told me to cut it. Don't argue. I know, me. but don't try to cut it. I'm just checking. It's that fire yet. Of course it's raw. And then she's cutting it open. Like, who the hell does that? You're just gonna lose, like, malleable, tasty juice. You just need to get the door. You know what? what chef tells me. Did he tell you to <laughs> tell me what to do? No. Well, get, get out of here. Don't push me with a knife. You All right, then move away. There's no need to argue. Why are you cutting it open? Because your chicken is raw. I know, because it's not a fire yet, you dumb little <laughs> Keep it going, guys. Last table, ladies. Keep it going. Yes, sir. It's two hours into steak night, and the red team has just completed dinner service for the first time. I want all of you now to go into the blue team and help them get out yes, nine chef. tables. Let's go. And Chef Ramsay has sent them in to the other kitchen to rescue the blue team. We're good over here. Go over there. That chicken's so good. Look, we know what we're doing here. And Jason definitely doesn't appreciate the help. Why are you cutting it open? Because your chicken is raw. I know, because it's not on fire yet, you dumb little What? It's not on fire. It's not on fire yet. Hey, you yes. and you, come here. Oh. Serious? To get in her face like that and yell? I don't know. Maybe his trunk up a little bit because a woman had to jump on his station? Damn it. I just yelled in front of the kitchen and I owe the whole restaurant an apology. Look at me. Yes. I told Sandra to get on there. You may not like it, but it's my choice. So, take it. Shut the f up yes, and put your head down. Yes, sir. Stay on the section. Yes, sir. Okay? Let's yes, go. Yes, sir. 
Did I look scared for a minute when Jason got in my face? I don't freaking think so. He's all huff and freaking puff. Screaming in my face. Just don't cut it open. I'm not gonna f up your chicken. I just didn't want the juice to leak out. That's all I'm saying. Okay. With Jason and the rest of the men now working with the women instead of fighting them. Melanie, push him. Let's go. Perfect. Money in the bank. Yep. New York strips. Walking. That's good, right? Yeah, you got it. Sorry for the wait. The blue team's entrees are finally being delivered to their grateful diners. Melanie. Yes, chef. Those New York strip are cooked beautifully. Thank you, chef. Uh, nothing against any of these girls on the red team, but yeah, this is extremely embarrassing. That's it. That's the last one. They smoked us over here. Wow. What a nightmare. Finally, we had a respectable service from the red team. Congratulations. Thank you, Men, I'm going to ask you all to do something you're very familiar with. Head up to the dorm, come to a consensus on two nominees for elimination. <laughs> off out of there. This service was a abomination. Disgusting. You have two guys per station and you still can't perform? Give me a break. So where did things get hung up, man? Me and appetizers us. What are you talking about, appetizers? Well, they were kind of slow. They That's what I'm saying. Slow, yeah. I'm not going to put out bad risotto. It doesn't take that long, though. I don't give a I had eight risottos going at once, four grabs, and I banged every single one out. And you were by yourself, so. I mean, Mike was there, swishing the risotto. Where is Mike? Mike just sat there. He gave up, guys. You can tell. So, what are we doing? We put it on Mike? He's right here. Done. You can fight it all you want, but you're going up. It doesn't matter what I do. They're going to pick me anyways. So, who was the other guy, guys? Mike and Richard. Me? What the f did I do? The whole crab cake thing. I had one crab cake come back, dude. How many steaks came back? Are you kidding me right now? I think Anton was rushing a little bit. If you think I'm gonna go up, you guys are out of your minds. There's no way I should be up there. What a rocket. These guys, they're screwing everything up left and right. I'm the only one who hasn't had a problem the whole time I've been here. I have one bad day. How many bad days did you have? Two. How many bad days you have? Three. I was ready to cook all night. I'm sorry, but you're not ready when you cook three salmon. I understand That's that I didn't have a lot of food, me, but I was ready. Nothing, nothing was sent back tonight for me. Those guys just want to blame everybody else, never themselves. F them. When you guys f up, you don't want to take the blame. Every time I f up, I say yes, I f up. I didn't f up tonight. All right, so where's most votes? Besides Mike. Ladies, great job. Thank you, Shadow. Ralph, first nominee and why? We picked Mike. He hasn't been here since day one. He's hiding behind every station. Second nominee and why? Second nominee is... After having their dinner service completed by the women, the men had to nominate two chefs for elimination. Their first choice was Mike. Second nominee, and why? Second nominee is... DeMarco. Him again? We decided in the long run he's just the weakest link for this team. DeMarco and Mike, step forward please. DeMarco, 
Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I was ready tonight. I wasn't the weakest link. And I actually care to be here, unlike him. He doesn't care. I do. I don't want to be up here. I said I don't ever want to be here again. And I don't think I deserve to be. Mike, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Because when you finally convinced Ralph to uh, allow me to help him, we were able to start getting things rolling, Chef. Is that true, Ralph? No, he just stirred some risottos and, you know, he did a ravioli or two. I can't help somebody who doesn't want it, Chef. Why is there so little trust in you from your team? I have no clue. It's been a hiding game and it's been a finger pointing game since day one. And he would just man up and just take control of the station. I mean, one thing, but he hasn't yet. Chef, I, I, would, I would like to make a request and say, give them what they want. Take me off their team and put me with the girls. I think that they'll appreciate me a lot more than the men. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Mike. Time to go. I definitely feel like I was the fall guy. I'm gonna have fun watching the guys go down because they're a bunch of backstabbing bitches. There's no camaraderie there. I will definitely forget about these guys as quickly as they chosen to forget about me. Blue team, no more excuses. Somebody get out there and lead, quick. Get out of here. It felt good to come as a team and finish as a team, and we're going to continue to show Chef we have what it takes. I will never quit. You can put me down on the ground every time, and I get right back up. Mike, thank God, is gone. We have a solid core now, and the blue team is stronger than ever. We were a force to be reckoned with. There once was a cook named Mike. He couldn't cook fish or any other dish, so I told him to take a hike. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Shut your mouth and do your job. Real bitter in fighting. Shut up and cook. You shut up and keep cooking faster. Push one chef out of the competition. So hard. And when Hell's Kitchen hosts its first ever wedding ceremony, you are husband and wife. This is not wedding attire. Will wedding bells turn to a funeral march when one chef cooks up something so heinous? Oh, gross. And so horrendous. I'm gonna do. Uh -oh. It will make someone sick. That's it. Find out who's responsible. You're not manning up, bro. I'm not saying that we didn't have a mistake. Okay, you man up. All next time on a fast go, 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 go. and furious episode of Hell's Kitchen. Get the <laughs> together, bitch. Not every dream can have a fairy tale ending. The American Idol Results Show is live next.